From the very beginning, uh, what a crazy time to uh, start a band. How did it uh, come together in the beginning of uh, the last year? Um, we had a band before, uh, seven years. And we quit the band last year in, in January, and then we started with Might. Yeah, there, there was um, there was no real process. It was the end of the other band and we were three we had a drummer and yeah we had different uh, thoughts for the music and so we decided to split and we stay friends and yeah. laugh <laughs> with Tim and we did a new thing and this is mine yeah okay so uh it didn't come as a such a big shock I mean, uh, if you kind of, if might kind of started in January, then in a couple of months the pandemic started. So, how was that to get the news with the new project just started? Yeah, on one side it was a bit harder because we we can't play any concert. We just played one concert last October in in Rostock, and. Two weeks ago, we played at Broadburn the online festival, which was great, but was wasn't a live show. So this is is a bit sad after releasing an album not to play live. But um, oh, it's a problem for everyone. So <laughs> we just can wait. Uh, I don't really think for me it's not a problem. Um to be a new band to be might or to try to, to to make music because we've got a good time i think other people for other people it's more hard so um a bit to be a bit more um humble <laughs> demutig um i think it's a good thing but it's um it's a bit strange because it doesn't feel like a real band. <laughs> we we started and um, I miss meeting people, talk to people, um, being being in a pub or in a other playing concerts and listen to other people. And um, so we started alone. And now we are still <laughs> somehow alone, and we're talking to you. Um, I love it. Thank you for that. But it's like uh, oh. Are we a real band? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But um, it's not hard to do the things we do. Maybe it's easier because um, we can focus on that. And it was good because we are married and we just two people. So it was no problem to record the album um, and rehearse. Yes. Talking about the album, in just uh, six months, uh, the nine song debut album was out. So how was the writing process and recording? I think we, we, we have a um, different kind of workflow. For me, it's um, the writing process means for me um, first place to write the lyrics <laughs> and to, to have a um, to, to create the atmosphere um, in my head and with the bass and then write lyrics. And um, I, I worked for a few years uh, uh, in an NGO and um, did all this stuff with hum human rights and um, talked to a lot of people and had to um, somehow <laughs> transform all these things in my head. And that's, for me, the most, um, the deepest process in making music um, to translate what I see and talk to, to, to others. And that was my focus. And then, um, yeah, describe yours. Yeah, well, my focus is more on the musical side. So it's very easy because we live in, in one house and uh, we record demos and gave it to another and uh, it's more easy than in, in a real band uh, it is a real band but you know <laughs> what i mean with uh, 
<laughs> people from outside yeah yeah that's uh, really interesting uh well continuing on that uh if you would uh, pick one song from the album and kind of tell the story of that one what would it be maybe um for me <laughs> because i i told you just how i write the songs maybe mrs poise or warlight because these two songs are um uh, connected to a um, memory I have in my head because I, I met um, great people <laughs> and I see them when I uh, perform the song and maybe I would um, um, take some fragments from that conversation or meeting and ask them if they would like to perform it on stage. <laughs> then we could create a theater uh, scene. <laughs> And for you? For me, um, weird awards, I guess, because of the middle part where it's completely different from the beginning and the end. Uh, I like the middle part and it's a bit um, live. I, I use a looper. So this is new for me to play with a loop station uh, and loop the guitar and play another line on it. and. Yeah, it's I like like it. So uh, like we have been talking, the times are a bit weird at the moment. But uh, how are you planning the future of Might at the moment? How easy or uh, hard it is at the moment? Today it's very easy. We will <laughs> meet um, his mom and my son, and we will <laughs> go in the garden and um, have an, um, an apple. Pie. <laughs> and then um, we will uh, go to the rehearsal tomorrow and um, maybe write new songs. Um, I don't know. I, I can't answer your question because nobody knows. And um, uh, so I described that because that's our real life now. And I am full of hope <laughs> and um, I'm dreaming of um, having a real concert and maybe a festival or something to meet you and in, in, in real life and not here in our <laughs> on our table <laughs> but uh, we are also working on new songs and have the next show in september i guess planned in september in hanover with core together and from friedemann and yeah let's see <laughs> Yeah, like you said, you are already working on new songs and, uh, well, the debut album uh, came out in just uh, six months, so yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, is it like uh, unthinkable to release a second album in these circumstances that uh, concerts are not possible? Definitely not. <laughs> it's not unthinkable. Um... I don't know. We're just think, asking ourselves the same question, um, and it depends on how much how the the output will be, and depends on other things yeah. um, we're surrounded by. We can't. Um, yes. Yeah. If the songs are finished and the record is finished, then we won't wait to release it, even it's the same situation because I don't think it's such a good idea to wait with an album because um, when you release it and it's half a year or a year old, mm, don't feel so good. Yes, but on the other side, I think also the same, but um, on the other side, we're not um, forced to to make an album we we do other things uh, we, we we don't depend on that production and so we're very free to decide when we think it's okay to present some new things it's of course uh difficult to analyze things as they are happening but do you think like uh, this time will change uh, the music scene, uh, for example, in Germany? I think um, 
some of the small clubs will close on one side, uh, which is very sad. But I think after, after the pandemic, um, there will be very much new small clubs and garages or whatever. So at the end, I don't think there's such a difference later than it was. I think it will change some things. I don't know. It, it will change really the, the way um, pubs work and all this um, formal stuff. But at least I hope so that the, um, the value to, to, to be part of culture, to, to be on a concert, to listen to music and theater and all these other forms, um, we um, are we were able to um, consume. I think we all know where, <laughs> what we miss, where the desire is, and um, we don't want to live without it. And so I hope we will remember that when the, the game starts again. So maybe all this fucking time maybe it's it's kind of game changing our mind our attitude so we we live in a in a world and under circumstances um that are much too often um we think it's it's normal to to have all that to have this freedom to have this culture to have all these problems we usually have and i don't think it is we are living in a bubble in a big bubble and um I hope this uh, isolation will stop very soon. There's nothing good about Corona times, but um, so it's at least my own thing to, 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 to repair my mindset and to think a bit positive, keep something with me in the future, I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. It's hard in English to blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs>